Hello, it's Wednesday, June 4th, uh, 2020. This is Mayor Mike Inman from Macomb City Hall. Uh, with the latest uh, information regarding the coronavirus, the COVID-19 update. For the most part, uh, there has been some changes since we last spoke about only the, not only the number of cases, but unfortunately the number of reported deaths. So the most recent information we have from the McDonough County Health Department, which is our source here, a uh, total of 93 positive cases in the county. Of those 93, they're reporting a, a now a total of 14 uh, total deaths. So again, our condolences goes out goes out to those members of those families of folks that have passed from um, this disease. So they're also reporting that of those 93 cases, 46 are now considered to be recovered, and that's following the CDC's guidelines regarding uh, fever reduction over the 72-hour period, an improvement in respiratory symptoms, and at least 10 days from the onset of the first symptoms. So um, one of the I think one of the very important pieces of information that the health department has uh, given us uh, most recently is, uh, and I'm just gonna read it verbatim for the most part because I think it's that important. As local businesses open up for phase three and which we're grateful for, um, that there is an increasingly important uh, need for residents to continue to use all the tools that they have to uh, minimize the transmission of the virus. So they're suggesting, very strongly suggesting to continue to uh, uh, Stay at home when you're sick or any indication that you're not feeling well. And I know that for most of it, that, that's uh, common sense, but there, I know that there are a lot of people out there that still think, you know, I need to get out, do whatever, be wherever, whatever. This is just not the time to do that. So if you're feeling sick, please stay home. And then when you're outdoors uh, and you cannot maintain six feet of social distancing with members uh, outside your home uh, household unit, that you should still be wearing face coverings. Um, again, that's a face mask, a bandana, whatever the case may be, but it should cover both your, your nose and your mouth. And that's when you're out in public. And that's not only to protect you, but it's to protect you from other people. So that if, uh, if you recall some of the information that's been shared at the national and local level, that the vast majority of uh, folks uh, coming into contact with uh, this, this disease have gotten it from people who were not showing any symptoms. They were asymptomatic. So um, the best way to minimize the, the exposure under these conditions, even outside, is to wear a face mask. So, and we would very much encourage that. They're also suggesting that if you're going to be involved in shopping or dining out, which we hope you are, but you should be uh, um, keeping those to maybe an off-peak time when you would minimize your exposure. What they're encouraging everyone is that we all have to work to protect the, the, uh, uh, our, our community health. So uh, good information from the McDonough County Health Department. The uh, McDonough District Hospital is still running the nurse uh, triage hotline as well as the drive-through um, testing. There will be some changes effective tomorrow, so we're going to share those with you the, directly from the MDH website. And that's starting tomorrow, Monday through Friday. Their times will be from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the nurse hotline, and that number's on your screen right now. And then on Saturday and Sunday, it's from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So still seven days a week, but the uh, afternoon hours are shortened a little bit. So 7A to 5P on Monday through Friday, and 7A to 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. As it really Relates to the drive-through screening, those hours are also going to change a little bit starting tomorrow, June 5th, and that uh, they're changing from Monday through Friday. They'll be from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then Saturday and Sunday 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then they're again also asking that only two occupants for, per vehicle come during that time. Um, as we uh, continue to share just a little bit more information here uh, as it relates to uh, cleanups and good health and making our community as clean and safe as possible, we continue to get concerns expressed by folks about when we're going to uh, be engaged in the citywide cleanup. We've made direct outreach to waste management as early as, uh, or as recently as earlier this afternoon and asked them to provide us with a very specific timeline on when they would propose that we could look forward to that. It's, I understand everyone's frustration. Um, it's part of our overall culture here, been that way for decades to have the benefit of a uh, cleaner city through this cleaner, or excuse me, through this citywide cleanup. So as soon as we get some guidance from um, um, waste management, and we're being diligent in the ask, we'll share that. So for now, uh, we'd ask uh, everybody when you're out, whatever you're engaging in outdoors, it's great. The weather's great. We understand that. But uh, remember to use those social distancing guidelines and 
um, uh, some face coverings. It's no matter what your activity is, please uh, do your part. So until we have a chance to meet again, thank you.